San Salvador, El Salvador, in Central America. This tiny country known as the land of the volcanoes is about the size of New Jersey. And with its long history of violence and always being in the top 10 of most dangerous cities in the world, you might ask yourself, Sal, what are you doing here? But the most important question of all is, will you find any video games? guys so we're here in San Salvador and I managed to find and bring four of these Super Mario cereals which they're not available here at all they're only a US thing I believe in Canada something like that but they're super hard to find regardless so I have four of these and I'm gonna give them away uh, in a Facebook group so hopefully that way I'll be able to meet some people uh, that uh, collect and play retro games here in San Salvador so our first stop is Centro Comercial Las Pulgas. It's a flea market in which you can buy cell phones, get them repaired, get uh, any electronic stuff repaired, and they sell a lot of retro video games. So it's got the basic setup of a flea market where you can go through stands and uh, stalls and everybody sells their stuff there, new and used. So as you can see, there's a lot of uh, retro video game stuff. Here in El Salvador, there's a big retro video game scene it's still up and coming, but there are a lot of people that collect. There are a lot of people that buy and sell. And there's also groups that meet up on weekends in certain places, which we will cover in the next episode because I was only here for two days this trip. Unfortunately, it had to be cut short, but I'm definitely glad I got to see something. All right, so here's a guy with a stand and he has a bunch of stuff, a bunch of different types of games. So I'm gonna start looking through some stuff and I see Killer Instinct for Super Nintendo. And uh, one's white lettering, one's uh, the blue lettering. So one of them is real, one of them's fake. And uh, these guys end up recognizing me from the, from the Facebook group that I, I put a post up on. And uh, we start talking about, you know, just the whole scene and video games and, um, he starts taking some games out and I see that he has Robo Trek, which is a classic, well to me, it's a classic RPG for Super Nintendo. And of course he asked for a box of cereal because that's what I put on the post to do. And after a bunch of cereal talk, I get back to business. I take my bit and I open up Robo Trek. I want to make sure that the the board is real, you know, it's authentic. Um, after being in Peru and Ecuador and uh, Colombia, I always uh, I'm always a little skeptical now these days. But uh, luckily, I was able to open it and see that it's real. And I made a deal on Killer Instinct and Robo Trek, and on to the next section. So in this next section of the flea market, it's all video game stuff, which is really awesome. A lot of good stuff you can find here. And it's a Monday, so a lot of the stands were closed. Very few were open, but next time I come here, I'm gonna make sure it's a weekend day. Here I have some uh, some games I'm just looking through and uh, a lot of NES stuff, like you can see. Um, a lot of commons in this bin. Um, just common games like Black Manta and World Cup and you know, the usual stuff, Bart versus Space Mutants, things like that. But it can also get very serious very quickly here, as you can see by all these rare and expensive Super Nintendo games. So that's it for the flea market. It's a, it's a great place to look for video games. A little more expensive for the locals than they're used to, but overall really good. And over the course of the day, I was able to meet some people from the Facebook groups I posted in. Really great conversations, a lot of great gamers out here. And I also met this gentleman, his name is Alex. He came out specifically just to give me a gift, which is really awesome, really nice of him. 
He wanted to welcome me to the country. Uh, he gave me a keychain. So I was uh, here uh, picking mine. This is a uh, Samus one. He brought a bunch of different ones that are handmade here in El Salvador for the group. So I was able to um, go through all of them and I picked one. I ended up choosing uh, this Mario one. You gotta go with the classic. And I also felt the need to give him a gift in return, of course. Todo lo que es Mario, we had about a half hour conversation, great conversation, and it was amazing to meet Alex. Okay, so the grupo is Elite Gamer in Salvador. Los invito a participar e ingresar. Intercambiamos juegos, hacemos dinámica, rifamos loquera, quemamos muñecos. It was a very, very short trip here in San Salvador, but I managed to get some tourist stuff done, including the historic downtown here uh, in San Salvador. I urge you to come to El Salvador. If you're asking yourself if it's safe enough, the answer is yes. If you're asking yourself if you should come, the answer is also yes. As you can see, I came to find video games, but all I found were amazing people that were nothing but welcoming and kind to me. So, if you're, again, if you're asking yourself if you should come to San Salvador, yes. Alright, so the first thing I found was, I was looking for this Rob Amiibo uh, for a while now, and I found it for $10. Uh, it's loose, but it doesn't matter. I just want to have it as like a little, you know, ornament. Uh, Killer Instinct for Super Nintendo. I feel the need to play that all of a sudden. I've been into fighting games recently, and I also found a Robotrek Great RPG for $60 for both. Up next, I have uh, one of these little portable pirated games for $5. You know me, I'm a sucker for uh, pirated stuff and knockoff, Chinese knockoff stuff. Mike Tyson's Punch Out Classic, $10. Had to get it. And then lastly, uh, Alex from Elite Gamers El Salvador uh, gave me this keychain, which is probably the best thing I've, I've found this trip. I'm very appreciative of that, a uh, very meaningful gift, and that's pretty much it. We didn't find much here in El Salvador, guys, but I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time, whether it's this country or another.